one Stag X stripper and two April drippers walk into a cafe. Hello fellow coffee lovers, coffee lovers everywhere, and people of the internet. My name is Haley. I am your local neighborhood, local resident, or if you're local, you're resident. I'll figure it out one day. I'm your local Q grader coming at you live from San Francisco, California, our San Francisco storefront and playground in the Pink Room studio. Here to talk to you about an international drop today, um, a longtime partner of ours who we're stoked to work with again all the way from Copenhagen. April Coffee, the one and only. Though they need no introduction, I'm gonna introduce this great coffee that we're dropping from them to you today. Uh, we're stoked on this Ethiopia Medi that we have from April. It's a washed Ethiopia, super clean, lots of white florals, jasmine-ish, uh, like citrus blossom, some berries in there, some honeysuckle, just really, really clean, some citrus. Um, maybe even a little bit of stone fruit, dare I say, in there too. Before I get into why this coffee is so awesome, let me tell you how I am brewing it. So, let me swirl five times first. I'm using 23.5 grams of coffee in to 350 grams out, ground at a 5.2 on OGen2, 6.2 on Ode with SSP, uh, 4.2 on OGen1. So. Medium leaning into medium course. Um, I'm brewing at 202 degrees Fahrenheit, so a little bit cooler than my standard 205. Uh, I bloomed at 60 grams, and then I bloomed for about 35 seconds. Um, what I'm doing with this brew too is agitating just a little bit more. Um, just push a little bit more out of this coffee. So I'm gonna agitate five gentle swirls, not vigorous swirls, after every pour whenever the water level is down low enough so that I'm not splashing water over the sides because though some folks may like coffee grounds in their coffee aka cowboy coffee I'm not really super keen on the texture of that so do your own thing choose your own adventure but uh, if you don't like coffee grounds in your coffee wait until the water level decreases a little bit before you swirl so I have April drippers next to me because on our brew guide this week, so if you head over to the brew guide, you'll see a recipe suggested for the April dripper. Um, it's a super cool dripper. I brewed with a glass one, which I have right here, and the glass one comes with a sweet little collar to set on whatever mug you're brewing on. Um, it has some cutaways for steam release. It's got some really interesting geometry too, uh, and a large, larger exit hole akin to a conical dripper, even though it's sort of in my opinion, between conical and flat bottom. It's really interesting, highly suggest experimenting. Uh, if you get the chance, go head over onto our brew guide to see um, that brew recipe. It's, it's a little bit different technique and it's, it's super interesting. Um, really cool dripper. Thank you so much, Patrick and the April team for sending them over to me. I continue to have fun uh, experimenting with extraction on them. Um, and like I said, I, brew, I brewed with the glass one, um, prefer glass and I prefer glass or ceramic. Um, glass heats up a little bit quicker than ceramic does, but it also loses temperature just a little bit quicker um, than ceramic does too, uh, was the main differences there. But either one's super, super cool. Um, they also come in plastic as well. Um, that all being said, <laughs> uh, I am really, really stoked on this coffee. Um, again, our friends all the way from Copenhagen brought us this coffee all the way from Ethiopia and couldn't be more stoked on a coffee to ring in the summer. Um, just a clean example of, again, you've got everything that you want from in Ethiopia. You got your berries, your stone fruit, uh, that crisp bite of citrus, um, and then those, those florals supporting. Um, as always, it is easy to order from fellow drops. All you have to do is text us back the number of bags you would like and we'll send you that amount. Um, if you don't want any coffee, don't text us back. We won't charge you or send you coffee. We'll just text you the next week with another delicious selection. I have been and will continue to be Haley. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have any comments, questions about this coffee, just want to drop a line. 
let us know what's going on. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this brew. This brew is going to be a little bit longer. Um, and if it does go a little bit longer, have no fear. That is, uh, that is totally fine. Um, thank you again for joining me, y'all. And I will see you next week for another brew guide video. And remember to go check out the brew guide, um, the text, the brew guide on our site um, for that April Dripper recipe and also espresso suggestions. Thank you so much, y'all, and I will see you next week.